In this video, I'm gonna cover the most important things you need to get a visa in Berlin, Germany. I've lived in San Francisco, I lived in New York City. I came to Europe because of just really the opportunity for English speaking stand-up comedy. Kind of like uh, NBA players who can't make it in the NBA, they go to Europe and then they had, all of a sudden they have like great opportunity. Same thing. I came to Berlin and I was like, wow, look at all these broke unemployed people. I feel right at home. <laughs> If you're gonna visit Europe, you only have 90 days on a tourist visa. But I overstayed my Schengen visa. Now if you overstay your visa and you get caught, you can get kicked out and not let back in. I had a headlining gig, my first international headlining gig, and I needed a visa in order to go do it. To get a real visa, you, it's not as easy as you think in Germany. You gotta make an appointment with the Ausländerbehörde and the first available interview was three months. My friend Verity told me, who helped me through this visa application process, that you can actually get an appointment with the Ausländerbehörde if you go there early in the morning. I'm like, how early are we talking? She said four o'clock in the morning. <laughs> Are you fucking kidding me? Like no one's gonna wake up that early. It's literally four o'clock in the morning. There's already 50 people in line. And this is what happened. I don't like to talk about race. The line, it lived up to a bunch of stereotypes, right? Asians were all there first. <laughs> Cause right now I'm, I'm technically staying here illegally. All the way in the back, we're black people. <laughs> and one guy's like, where are you from? And I'm like, Tanzania. <laughs> when you open the gates, everyone makes a fucking mad dash so they can be first to get a ticket to get an appointment so they can get a fucking visa. It's cold. <laughs> and so the people in the front were all doing that kind of like polite, like, oh, I'm gonna run, but I hope we all, you know, stay. I hope we all get a ticket. <laughs> all the people in the back were like, Simi <laughs> Wanna be a German, I wanna be a German. And I sit down with a woman for the interview. And this is, this is like game time, you know? Cause they decide. If they don't like you, they can just be like, you know, come back next year. Sorry, Entschuldigung. Tschüss. In that moment, I was, I was not that black. I was presidential black. Like, I really fucking, I really brought it. It was like an infomercial of like, hi, I want to stay in your country. Like. Well, let me walk you through what you're gonna need to do to get the freelance visa. If you go to the website, you make an appointment. They'll give you all the information that you're gonna need for your interview. So the most important things to remember are be organized. Probably makes sense to have all your papers organized in binders, health insurance. And there's something called Care Concept and there's also TK. Just Google them. You can be applying to get health insurance and you could still get your visa even though you don't have health insurance yet. So your visa is not valid if you don't have health insurance. You're gonna need to show that you have job offers or letters of recommendations that explain how you make money. You're, you're a comedian. How do you expect to make money? <laughs> so what do you think and how much money will you get in one year? Um, As a comedian, I, I book venues, then put on shows, and then sell tickets. So I had to just show them that. I wrote out five letters of recommendations myself, and I got them translated into German, and I explained that he's using our venue to put on the following ridiculous shows. He makes this much money per event. Then I sent those letters to the people that wrote them and had them sign them electronically using Panda Doc, Hello Sign. Then you need references, something that basically shows that you do what it is you say you do. For me, I just printed out my LinkedIn profile. You're gonna need to get passport photos for your visa. You can get those photos taken before you go or you can get them at the Ausländerbehörde in Berlin. They don't accept black and white photos. I did not know that. You're gonna need to register your residence. So you get a letter of recommendation from your landlord. And when you go and register it at your local Bürgeramt, they give you a certificate that says you're registered. So you need to include that in your visa application. The application costs about 60 euro. I requested a three year visa. If you want to stay in Europe for longer than the 90 days as an American or as a visitor, then getting a freelance visa is a perfect way to do that. But just as a storyteller, okay. comedian. Comedian. Okay. I wish you were as excited as I am. <laughs> <laughs> Tschüss. My name is Rockin Blake and good luck in getting your visa. So I'm leaving, I see my other black dude friends. I was like, how'd it work out for you, man? But I forgot my accent. <laughs> and he's just like, I thought you were from Tanzania. <laughs> and I was like, nein. Ich bin ein Berliner. <laughs> Thank you very much.